Promises made, promises kept. I told you I'd do it, and today is the day to see color cubes in action in real quilts. And this is just scratching the surface. Hi, I'm Amy, and I make things. Today, I am making use of my favorite color tool. Hang around, I'll show you. If you've been around the channel for a minute, you've heard me extol the virtues of my favorite, my favorite color tool for creatives, the Color Cubes Box 1 and 2 by Sarah Renee Clark, and they're linked below. I gave all the details about why I think these are so great and demonstrating pulling colors in this video at about timestamp 550. Today, I have actually used the cards and made quilts, and we'll get to those. First, a quick review. These are called Color Cubes by Sarah Renee Clark, and what she's done is take an inspirational photograph and create color palettes from them. On the front of the card is the photograph and the basic color palette. On the back are the color names, the, co the computer hex code identifiers, and a gradient breakdown of the palette. My favorite thing about these cards and the reason that I think they are the best color tool for creatives is that they start with something concrete that's easy to understand, a photograph. You can sort through the cards and you don't have to know any technical information about color theory, complements, split complements, saturation. You can work entirely by feel. And I'll give you some tips as we go through the quilts. I used patterns from the Jolly Bar books from Fat Quarter Shop these are great books for quick quilts, and you don't need Jolly Bars. A Jolly Bar is a 5x10 Fat Quarter Shop exclusive pre-cut. Anna and I pulled fabrics from my large collection of, of self-cut 10-inch squares. The first card we chose, Anna, my college-age daughter, was instrumental in making all of this come together. Thank you so much, Anna. Was this coffee card. And the resulting quilt is here. All right, thank you. When working with these cards, you want to pay attention not only to the color palette, but also to the proportion of colors in the photograph. The main colors in this card are the greens and warm browns with bits of dark, dark colors and that bright pop of gray-white of the coffee cup. In the quilt, we translated that into this. Lots of various greens and browns that warm honey caramel color running all through the quilt, and a few spots of black with that occasional pop of gray-white. Anna did a beautiful job quilting with the viney leaf pattern and some wavy lines to further evoke the feel of the photograph. Next, we have this amazing card with these electric, almost iridescent jellyfish. We really wanted to play up the action of the vivid colors against the black ground, and I chose this super blocky pattern to showcase the colors. I knew I had a lot of this kind of mottled black fabric in my scrap collection, so we used it for the main color and chose intense, vibrant colors for the rest. The quilting on this, Anna really outdid themselves. All of these purple bubbles are quilted thread work and it's just gorgeous. It really changes the look and feel of a very basic quilt pattern. If you have ever done any pebble quilting, you know this took forever. Click that thumbs up if you feel her pain. <laughs> now, from that same card, we also pulled fabrics for an entirely different quilt, which is still in progress, but I want to show you how the same inspiration can result in a much different interpretation. And that's what's amazing about this tool. This one? For the next quilt, we dug a little deeper and used two cards. I chose a card I liked, then found what I call a linked or linking card to expand the palette and the idea of the first card. So from card one, I looked at the color breakdown and chose card two, which has several overlapping colors plus a few new ones. The result is this. Thank you. Again, when Anna and I pulled colors, we paid attention to proportion and distribution, using the bright red as an accent and playing with the values in the purples and greens. The thunder. 
My doggy's afraid of thunder, guys. We're gonna just move on. <laughs> I chose the cool scrappy grays as the background to unify the quilt and give it more dimension than just white. I can't wait to see what inspires Anna when they quilt this. Next, we expanded on the linking concept again and chose three cards. Here, we had to really pay attention to proportion and focus on what we liked most about the three cards together. We looked at the common components of the cards, which is clearly that icy sky blue, and then chose which colors to feature and with how much. The resulting quilt top is this. I wanted to feature that yellowy acid green because to me it stood out the most against the blues and other colors in the palette. This one was harder because, yeah, oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. This one was a little bit harder because I didn't want just a basic overwhelmingly blue quilt. We had to pay attention and use the few accent colors very strategically. Overall, I think it turned out really nice and again, I can't wait to see it quilted. Of course, I'll show you that in one of the upcoming monthly reviews. Smash that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss it. Five quilts. Well, almost five quilts. From four card combinations. And like I said, this is barely scratching the surface of the potential of this color tool. This process can be followed using any photograph from any magazine or book or online source. And I've done that many times. These cubes are not required to make beautiful quilts inspired by a specific color palette. These little cards make it more accessible and almost effortless. And while I hate a gadget, I love a broadly useful and quality investment tool. I love to make things easier, so I pass along the information. The cubes are linked below. Have a look, check them out yourself, along with all the other things that Sarah offers, and see if they might be a good fit for you. If you want more technical information about color and the color wheel, or are just a super nerd like me, I recommend the book Color Play, the second edition, which is a master class in color and color theory. However you choose to play with color, I hope you do just that and remember to play. It should be fun. I also hope that you remember that you make the world more beautiful just by being in it. I'm Amy, and I'll see you next time.